Hello everyone, this is Yamin. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can show a success message at the top after uploading a data in Laravel. So for it, first of all, let's go back to our code. And here you can see we are storing the category data from here. And after that, we are returning the user back to the same place. So here, what we are going to do is that we are going to say here with 10 to 5 bracket. And here we are going to say message. Then give a comma. And here we need to write our message, whatever you want to write. So we'll say here category added successfully. So save it. So right now we need to show this message in the blade file so let's go to our blade file which is category.blade.php and at the top of add category it means over here at the top we are going to show the message so let's go back and here we are going to mention a div then inside this div we are going to say at the right of we need to give a if condition if there is a message so if to first bracket, we say session. Again, to first bracket, this arrow sign will say has. To first bracket, this single condition, message. If session has message, and we need to close this if condition. So we'll say here at the end of int if. So here you can see has message. So this message is basically this one. So after it, what we are going to do is that we are going to show the message. So let's say here, uh, in order to show the message, we need to give two second bracket in Laravel. After that, we need to say session to first bracket, this arrow sign, we need to get the message. So we we'll say here, get message. So if we now save it, then if we just refresh here, then let's say here, the category name will be motivational and then click add category and there you can see category added successfully the message over here so right now let's add some design so in order to add the design we are going to use bootstrap class so let's go back and uh, here we are going to mention a div then let me just cut this message from here and we will paste it inside this div and after that, for this div, we'll mention it, bootstrap class. So the class name will be alert, alert, success. Says this is a success message. So if you save it again, then if we now refresh here, let's say the category name will be science, S-C-I-E-N-C, -E science. Then click add category. And there you can see we have a design over here. So right now we should have a close button to close this message. So in order to close it, what you need to do is that after this message, we are going to mention a button class. So we say here button and for this button, the sign will be X. So let's just give X sign over here. We'll just keep X and here the button class will be button. Now we are going to mention the button type. Button type will be button. Button type will be button. Class will be closed. Class will be closed. Then we are going to say here data ps dismissed. It will be alert. And we are going to say here area hidden h i w d e n hidden. It will be true. So we need to write those things over here. So Button type button class will be close. Data BS, data BS this is alert and area hidden to those are push type class. Okay. So right now we'll save it. Then let's go back. Then let's refresh here. And let's add a name. Let's say the name will be story. Then click add category. And there you can see category added successfully. And we have a close button over here. So right now if you click on this close button. Uh, okay, it's not working. So let me just go back and here you can see data BS dismiss. So this should work for bootstrap 5, but this uh, data BS dismiss on or for bootstrap 4. So since my bootstrap is version 4, so we need to say data dismiss. So we we'll say here data dismiss equal to alert, then save it, then refresh here. 
and let me just add a category over here let's say category will be book for now and click on add category and there you can see at a category added successfully and if you click on this close button the message is closed so this is how you can show message after uploading a data in laravel so thank you very much for watching in the next tutorial we'll show the category data over here in a table so make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials